Hey folks, Prepper Princess. Okay, so I thought it would be interesting to do a video on some of the cheapest things that I do. So the first thing I do is a little bit different. So not everyone has the ability or financial means to purchase clothes that appropriately fit. Some people buy things in thrift stores. Sometimes people will give them things who are a larger size and, and sometimes people will lose weight, but they love the clothes that they already have or they can't afford to buy new clothes. So um, as an example, this is one of my shirts. Now I am a size small to a medium. This is an extra large shirt that I made to fit for myself, which works really well too, because um, I have a very flat stomach Okay, but I also have very large arms, uh, very muscular arms, very large up at the top. So I typically, even if I am am buying clothes, I have to buy clothes bigger than my actual size because my arms are so big up on top. One of the things that I use is a clip. I use a clip to clip my clothes in the back. And then once I put on my jacket when I'm going to work, nobody can tell the difference. Um, typically I wear, um, I'll be wearing a large or an extra large shirt, but it'll make it look like it's my size, that it's fitted correctly for me. Um, and just to give you an example, I'll take the clip off and show you what this shirt would look like otherwise. Now remember, it's form fitting right now. Okay, and it's, it's flat on the stomach and it's form fitting. And when I take the clip off, Look at, it. it's not very form-fitting, is it? It's, it's got quite a bit of extra space in the front and it's, it just looks a little bit raggedy. So it's a really big difference to be using one of these and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description, but um, it's just a little stretchy doohickey, sort of like a suspenders. And I'll put that on my clothes and I'll make my clothes more form-fitting and that gives me the ability to either buy cheaper clothes at the thrift store because sometimes larger sizes are cheaper or if friends of mine give me clothes that no longer fit them, I can make them fit me. So um, this is my first tip of the cheapest things that I do, how I cheap out on everything. Um, and there, here's a couple more. Okay guys, so it was brought to my attention that this section of my video didn't have any sound, so we're gonna try this one again. So what I do is I pick up lotto scratchers. These are everywhere, especially at gas stations. People will leave them um, right on top of the garbage. They'll do their little scratch and then that'll be it for them. And the great thing about, I'm not sure if it's the same in every state, but in California, we have the second chance drawing. So you go to calottery.com, you fill out the information and you get your second chance drawing. And in some instances, you can win a, a extra ticket. You can win a little bit of money. I have won a little bit, not you know, a lot, but it's the lottery. So don't waste your money on scratchers. Let other people pay the $20 for a scratcher. Let other people pay the $5 for a scratcher. Let them pay for it and you guys can reap the benefits and rewards. So that's one of the biggest cheapskate things I do is I pick up lotto scratchers where people have already scratched them. I go to calottery.com for my second chance to win. Okay guys, one of the first things that I do other then cheap out on the cheapest toilet paper and don't even get me started on toilet paper is so um you know everybody uses or everybody usually cuts the top open of these and sticks their toothbrush inside and i'm a little bit too lazy for that so i use this little doohickey that i got out of a magazine and well i got the original out of a magazine and then i bought a three pack on amazon and gave two of them away but what this does is you put it on the edge of the toothpaste and then you pull it and then all of the toothpaste goes down to the bottom and it makes it stick thin. There's not a single little bit of toothpaste in there that is going to waste. So I use all of it and maybe I'll put this in the link in the description but but this is really great. It's one of my favorite little doohickeys that gets all of the toothpaste out. I repair my own socks. That's right. I don't buy new socks. I repair the ones that are already messed up. Okay guys, and the last thing that I do is that is super cheap, super cheap skatey and frugal is I shop in a county that is not my own. I also work in a different county, uh, so whenever I'm at work or after work, I will do all of my shopping in that county because there is a one and a half percent tax rate difference. It, 
things are cheaper in that county than in mine. So one and a half percent may not seem like much. If you're spending $100, you save $1.50. But if you're buying a new car or even a used car, you know, five or $6,000, that's going to save you a significant amount of money if you just make a 20 to 30 minute drive outside of your county. I hope this helps. Um, I would love to hear the most extreme cheapskate things that you do. Please like and comment on uh, what you guys do. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.